Why, why, why we hate the so-called white men so much? Why this? Why that, man? Hey, the Lord gave you over to believe in a lie, man. He gave you a strong delusion, right? And the Lord can do that, and the Lord has done that, man. Uh, the Lord has done that on multiple occasions. This ain't something that we've yet to see, man. That we've yet to see, right? It's all, it's happening all over, man. You got brothers falling out left and right. And, and right, what? It happens every single year, man. Right. Before Passover, man, you got brothers that just start, they start dropping, man. Why? Because the Lord is purging out those brothers who are not sincere in this thing, man. And sisters, man, who are not sincere in this thing. Right? They doing through the motions. They putting the Lord on the back burner. Right? They putting other things before y'all by Shimmy Al-Assad. Right? They not sincere. They, 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 they dealing with all type of spirits and demons. They not confessing their faults. They got a thousand secret sins. Right? And you're not going to make it like that, man. Right? You know? That they all might be damned. And who believe not the truth. He said that they all might be damned, man. Meaning what? Ain't no way out, man. Like the brother brought out earlier, hey, he that wandered out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. That's right. You damned at that point. There's no hope. All right, you got brothers that, well, they can come back. No, they not, brother. They don't work like that, man. You can't take two years off the truth, man, or a year off the truth, right, and go and go and experiment with Islam and then come back into the. It don't work like that, man. The Lord has no use for you, right? The Lord will give you over to delusions, right? Read that again, Bible Verse 12. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 12. Mm -hmm. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. It said, but have pleasure in unrighteousness, man. You have pleasure in entertaining those demons, man. You have pleasure in the things that the Lord does not delight in, man. Right. So guess what? The Lord said, all right, all right. Right, you got you. You want to keep entertaining that weed demon? All right, look, I'm gonna give you over to that. Right, you want to eat? You want to keep entertaining? Right, A, B, and C. Well, guess what? I'm gonna give you over to those things. I'm gonna have you thinking that that's the way. Right now, you read the scriptures. Right, and you read. You reading them. Uh, uh, you reading them. It's, oh, you reading them. First Corinthians, right, chapter three. And then you read it, and it say, and uh, uh, weed is lawful. Thus saith the Lord. Right? But it really says something else, man. Right? Hey, that's the Lord giving you a delusion. Now you going th you going through all the scriptures. You done, now you ain't never read the whole Bible. Now you done read the whole Bible trying to advocate how it's lawful to smoke weed now, man. Right. You trying to find all these different loopholes. Well, well, I mean, he yeah, he put it on here for medicine. I brother, there's nothing wrong with you. Hmm. There's nothing wrong with you, brother. What you mean? Well, oh, uh, well, I'm depressed. But that's a demon. Fast. Uh, Fast, brother. What you mean? You got people that don't exhaust their options, man. You got people as soon as a little, as soon as a little uh, uh, trials and tribulations come upon them, they want to fold, man. They want to fold and say, "Oh well, yeah." yeah. They stop coming around, right? You hear from you hear from them less and less, right? Next thing you know, they out this thing, right? Let me get a. Uh, uh, you still got wisdom of Solomon for me, Connor. Yes, oh, that. Uh, first, I want to. Uh, hey, so real quick, somebody give me a Syrat chapter um, 27 and verse 3. Right? And I still want Isaiah chapter uh, 65 and verse 3. Syrat 27 and verse 3. Bring it out. Unless a man hold himself diligently in the fear of the Lord. I Meaning what? Unless you hold yourself diligently into these law, statutes, and commandments. Mm -hmm. Right? That's what the fear of the Lord is, man. Unless a man hold himself diligently, right, until you all about to me outside, man, and keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments, meditating upon the laws of the Lord, read. His house. His what? His, his house, house. Shall what? Shall, shall soon be overthrown. overthrown. Right? On a spiritual level, that's talking about hey, your spirit, man. The Lord the Lord has snatched that Holy Spirit away from you, man. The Lord has snatched that understanding from you, man. Now you ask your brother to break down John 3.16 and he don't know how. Brother been in the truth for two years, damn near, and now he can't break down John 3.16, man. Right? You ask the brother to you ask the brother, can everybody make it? He said, well, well, you know. Well, break down, break down this precept. What you mean, brother? What you mean break it down? Right? The Lord will overthrow your household, man. On the physical level, which I uh with your uh with your wife, your kids, man, your kids running around, they saying F you and throwing the middle finger up at you, right? Every time you put the fringes on them, they take it off. 
Say, man, I'm tired of wearing this. Right. This is not the style. Wait. He call he calling you he calling you Robert. He calling you by your first name. Mm -hmm. This is not the style. Robert, I'm not doing it. I don't want to wear that, man. Right? And then uh, your, your wife, she doing whatever she want. She trying to absorb authority over you. Now, now at first you was other one. At first you was Lord. Now she calling you nigga and going like this. Brothers know what I'm talking Brothers know the the, the, the finger, finger point. The yeah, the finger to the head. She said, you dusty nigga. Wearing right wearing pants now. Now she at club wet. Club, uh, right? She at club wet. She at tiki bobs now. Right? Next thing you know, next thing you know, hey, she at she at uh uh she at uh pure, uh, pure passion east, man. Damn strip club. Damn. Right? right? Stripping. Talking about she gotta pay the bills. Damn. Right? Hey, the Lord will. Hey, the Lord. Hey, brothers don't really fear the Lord in this thing, man. Right, right. You gotta fear the Lord in these last days, man. It's a re. Hey, he's the king of terrors, man. Right. Yes, the Lord can kill you, man. Yes, that's the ult the, hey, ultimately that's the end result, man. The Lord killing you, but hey, the Lord will the Lord will give you over to some crazy stuff, man. Before He give you over to uh, to death eventually, man. People gotta stop playing with the Lord in these last days, man. Right? Most high overthrow your spirit. Now you don't fast, you don't pray, right? There's a brother that thought he was an Edomite. He had a brother that thought he was an Edomite. Right, you got brothers. You got brothers that uh, think it's okay to lay down with the other nations. Right, you got brothers that that, that deal with all type of different stuff, man. Why? Because the Lord is overthrowing their household, man. Overthrowing their temple spiritually, man. He's overthrowing people in these last days, man. Right, right. Let me get um, give me uh, uh wisdom of Solomon. Seventeen. Wisdom of Solomon, seventeen and three, and it reads. For while they supposed to lie hid in their secret sins. Uh-huh. He said, why they supposed to lie hid in their secret sins, man, Reed? They were scattered uh -huh. under a dark veil of forgetfulness. It said under a dark veil of forgetfulness. Now, I, this is talking about the Egyptians, right? And one of the ten plagues that the Lord brought upon the Egyptians, which was what? The plague of darkness. Right? Hey, but the Lord, hey, the Lord can put uh, uh can put that spirit of darkness upon you, man. Spiritually. The Lord can have you submersed in darkness, man. You used to be the children of the light, man. You used to be a part of the light. Now you're in everlasting darkness, man. Right? Read on. And, oh, it said, and forgetfulness. Most, like I said, like we keep saying over and over again, the Lord can have you forget that you're an Israelite. First, you, you was an Israelite. You was a uh, you was an Israelite from the tribe of Yahweh. Right? Now, now you 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 forget the name Israel. Now you just uh you a, a Jew. You just walk around saying Judah, Judah. You walk past the brothers and they, we ask you what your nationality is. You say Judah instead of saying I'm an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Then you walk past again another day and now you're just a Hebrew, right? I'm a brew. I'm a Hebrew, right? What tribe you from, brother? I don't know. Well, damn. Now you're just a brew, right? Now you go back to being a nigga. A couple, a couple weeks later, you're a nigga. Now. You done went from an Israelite from the tribe of Yehawadah. Then you went from a from Judah, right? You was a Jew then Judah. Then you went from a Hebrew. Now you just a nigga, right? The Lord will put the spirit of forgetfulness upon you, man. Right? Read on. <clears throat> Being horribly astonished uh -huh. and troubled with strange apparitions. It said, "Hey, he would the Lord, the Most High will give you strange apparitions, man. What is that spirit? You see these figures, man." Yeah, the Most High will come. The Most High will do those different things unto you, man. There's there's multiple accounts, even in the scriptures and in real life, man, where the Most High give people over to those things. Now you running in the street saying you running from demons, man. The Lord will turn your mind up in this thing and how you be able to see all the wickedness that's uh, happening happening spiritually in high places unto you, man. Right? You can read that real quick, too. It's the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 18. And verse 8, started verse 7. And the women answered one another as they played and said, Saul hath slain his thousand, and David his ten thousand. And Saul was very rough, and the saying displeased him. And he said, They have ascribed unto David ten thousands, and to me they have ascribed but thousands. And what can he have more but the kingdom? And saw I David from that day and forward. And it came to pass on the morrow, that the evil spirit from Yahweh came upon Saul, 
and he prophesied in the midst of the house, and David played with his hand as at other times, and there was a javelin in Saul's hand. And Saul cast the javelin, for he said, I will smite David even to the wall with it. And David avoided out of the presence twice, out of his presence twice. God, so hey, hey, the Lord has sent an evil spirit upon you, man. It's a spirit of forgetfulness, a spirit of whatever the case may be, man. Right? The Lord has sent you strange apparitions, man. Those being like in the book of Job, man. Hey, when that when that uh when the angel visited him uh in the deep nights, man, while he was asleep, man. Right? Came and visited him, seen a, a damn big ass angel in front of him, man. Right? Hey, the Lord to do that to you, man. Right? If you keep playing with the King of Tears, right, we don't. Verse number four. Bring it out. For neither might the corner that helped them keep them from fear. Right? You had things that once upon you had certain scriptures that you would go to that would get you on fire, man. Now you go into those scriptures and hey, yeah, they're not working for you no more. Right? You reading those things and you just read them like you used to read, you used to read the scripture. Right? And, and you'll get on fire, man. You'll be like, man, I gotta go harder, man. Right? right? You'll use it to, to uh, cut yourself, man, in righteousness. Right? Now now they're not doing nothing for you. Now you read them and you like, man, now you question it. You like, dang, is that is that really true? Right, is that is that really what the Lord was talking about? Right, read all. But noises as of water falling down sounded about them, uh -huh. and sad visions appeared unto them. Mm. What? Right, it said, and sad visions appeared unto them. Man. The Lord will plague you in your dreams, man. Now you having nightmares every night, and those nightmares that you having is you getting destroyed by the missiles. Most High showing you dying by thermal nuclear fire, man. Right. Every single night, every time you close your eyes, you having a bad dream. Sit by the Most High God unto you, man. Why? Because you're not on fire in this thing. You're not leveling up. You're being complacent, right? You taking this truth for granted, man. And you, hey, hey, you playing with the king of terrors, man. We don't. No power of the fire uh, might give them light. It said, no power of the fire might give them light, man. Right? Like I said, right, hey, you might have a brother, man. He come and try to counsel you. He give you counsel for hours. Y'all fast together, right? All y'all do, he, hey. The brother, he coming with light, man. He coming with that fire, man, to warm you up in this thing, right? To set you on fire, man. But guess what? Hey, it don't work. It don't work. It said what about the fire again? No power of the fire might give, give them light. It said no power of the fire might give them light, man. You don't want to be in that situation where no power, I mean, where no fire, hey, it don't give you no light, man. Right. It don't give you no light. Brother bringing out a thousand precepts on you, man. Right? He's encouraging you and he's cutting you down, man, in righteousness. And guess what? It don't do nothing for you. You go right back on the same road, you know? Neither could the bright flames of the stars endure to lighten that horrible night. Meaning you could have you could have a whole congregation of brothers, man. Right? Sup with you, man. Fast with you. Pray with you. Right? Give you counsel. And guess what? Even the stars, man, couldn't even brighten up the darkness that you in, man. Why? Because the Lord literally has you in uh, uh, in the uh, uh, prison of darkness, man. It told you that in, uh, I believe, uh, verse 3 or verse 2. It said he made them prisoners of darkness, if I'm not mistaken. Right? They became, pri hey, you don't want to become a prisoner of darkness, man. Because when you become a prisoner of darkness, guess what? Ain't no coming back. Ain't nothing you can do, man. The Most High give you over, give me, uh, give me uh, Isaiah. Bring it Isaiah. Isaiah 66 and 3. I got it right here. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 66 and verse 3. Look it out. He that killeth an ox as if he had slew a man. Uh -huh. He that sacrificeth a lamb as if he cut off a dog's neck. Uh -huh. He that offereth an oblation as if he offered swine's blood. Right. He that burneth incense as if he blesseth an idol. Meaning everything that you do unto the most high, hey, he hates it. Like we brought out in, in the book of uh, Proverbs chapter 28, verse nine, right? He said, even your prayer shall be an abomination, right? Those, all that, all that repentance stuff that you're doing, hey, guess what, hey? It said the Lord hates it, man. It's like, it's like you sacrificing swine's flesh, man, unto the Lord. Read on. Yay, they have chosen their own way. It said they have chosen their own way. You chose, rather than, you chose to be slothful, man. You chose that route, man. You chose to be slothful, man. To not read, pray, fast, study, man. 
right? Not to get, you chose not to get up, but instead you let them demons beat your ass, man. Right. You let them demons whoop you, man. And even in the world, you wouldn't let, you'll still fight, man. You'll still do something, man. But guess what? Hey, spiritually, you, you ain't nothing you doing, man. You just letting them. Right? It's like when somebody come up and grab you and they say, why you hitting yourself? Why you hitting yourself? Why you hitting yourself? Hey, that's what you're doing, man. You just keep punching yourself, man. By what? By not uh, fasting? Not confessing your secret sins? Not confessing your faults, man? Unto your brethren? And all those demons, all those spirits, they just multiplying and they getting stronger, stronger, and stronger in this thing, man. Right, read on. Yea, they have chosen their own ways, and their soul delighteth in their abominations. Uh -huh. I will also to I will also choose their delusions. The Lord said he will also choose their delusions, man. Same thing we read in 2 Thessalonians, man. Chapter 2 and verse uh, 11 on down. Right? 10 on down. Right? The same thing. Hey, the Lord did that to the Egyptians. Literally. The Lord literally chose their delusions. When you continue reading that account in, in the book of uh, Wisdom of Solomon 17, man, they were seeing uh, when they were seeing things in the corners that wasn't really there. Right, they was dying in their sleep from dreams that was that the Lord was bringing upon them. They were seeing strange admirations, like it said, like we went over, man. The Lord will choose your delusions, man. Right, right. The Lord did that to the Egyptians. Hey, the Lord will do it to you, man. Why? Because you, hey, you taking the king of tears for granted. You playing with, you trying to test him. You trying to see how far you can go. Right? How long can I be slothful right. before the Lord really do something to me? Right? How long? Hey, the Lord is long suffering, man. Right. The Lord, hey, you'll build up all that stuff, and then guess what? You just get a, you just, you just get shot. You get into a car accident and flip over the ramp. Right. And then you got a 20 feet fall down to the next road on the interstate. Right. The Most High had you driving to get some gas, and guess what? Hey, drive by, get up, whatever. The Lord, hey, the Lord will do a multitude of things to you. Hey, it was a man I got struck by lightning three times on video, man. John. Three times. The most hot man, people gotta fear the Lord, man. The most high don't gotta use no the most high can use the elements, man. The most high can use the elements to damn get you up out of here, man. Right? Because why you not taking heed to the words of the Lord? Right? You steady, you you staying stagnant. And all these evils is multiplying around you and you staying the same. Dealing with the same stuff. Right? You're not doing nothing about it. You just, just getting beat up, man. Right? Read on. I also will choose their delusions uh -huh. and will bring their fears upon them. Uh -huh. Because when I called, none did answer. They said when I called, none did answer, man. When the Lord, when the Lord put the spirit on you, he put the spirit in your mind. That so, so it was something that made you say, dang, man, I should fast tomorrow. And instead of taking heed to that, you say, ah, uh, it's cool. I'll fast in about two weeks. I got too much going on that day. Hey, you hey, you didn't hey, you didn't listen when the Lord was speaking to you, man. Right? You had the Bible, right? Did somebody, one of your friends call you? They call you and say, hey, hey, come down here. We we doing A, B, and C, right? And your keys is on the table. Right? Your keys on the table and your Bible right next to your keys. You tell your friend, all right, yeah, I'm gonna be over there. Right, and then you go to grab your keys and you just start staring at the Bible. You just start staring at the Bible like, damn, I ain't even read today, man. I ain't get no reading in, I ain't get no studying in yet, but I'm about to go over here to my friend. And you stare at the Bible for about 30 seconds, and then you pick the keys up and walk out the door. Yeah. Right, hey, that was the Lord, hey, that was the Lord calling you, man. All right. But guess what, you didn't answer, man. Guess what you did? The Lord was knocking on the front door. You went to the back door and let those demons in. You went to the back door and let those demons in. And then guess what? Hey, I had a party like Project X in there, man. Y'all turned up in wickedness. And all the Lord wanted to do was come in and sup with you in righteousness, man. Right? So, read on. Oh, I think that might have been in there. No, it's, it's more than that. Come. I also will choose their delusions uh -huh. and will bring their fears upon them because when I called, none didn't answer. Uh -huh. When I spake, they did not hear, uh -huh. but they did evil before my eyes. They did what? They did evil before mine uh -huh. eyes. But instead of but instead of trying to your best to get on the right track, praying, fasting, going harder, 
Like we read in the book of Baruch chapter 4 and verse 28, hey, seeking him 10 times more because it was your mind to go astray. Right. So now you got to seek him 10 times more. Instead of doing that, guess what? Read that again, Baruch Hashem. But they did evil before mine eyes. You went and did evil in the sight of the Lord's eyes. Right, you chose rather to do evil than to do good, man. God. Right, you turned your back on the words of the Lord. You turned your back, right, on the Most High God, man. Right, you know? And chose that which I delighted not. Right, you chose that which the Lord don't delight in, man. You chose to play the damn, you chose to go to a uh, damn 2K my player, a uh, damn, uh, uh, what's it called, damn uh, park. Right, you chose to go to the park on 2K. Right, that's sound, that's sound. Right, you chose to go to the park on 2K <laughs> rather than read, man. That is, bring, bring, oh wait, is it more than that? No, no that's all. Come on, bring this out, kid. So the prophet Jeremiah, <laughs> verse 10 of <laughs> chapter 13. Uh -huh. This evil people which refuse to hear my words, right. which walk in the imagination of their heart. He said they walk in the imaginations of their own heart, man. Meaning you feel like Whatever you got going on is what's best for you, right? We're going to go right back to that real quick. Can somebody give me uh, Proverbs 14 and 12? So let me go with this real quick, Baba Kasha. Proverbs 14 and 12. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 14, and verse 12. Bring it up. And it reads, There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, right. but the end thereof are the ways of death. See, that's, so there's a way that seemed right unto a man, but the end thereof is the ways of death, right? Read that again, Bible Shah. Which walk in the imagination of their heart and walk after other gods to serve them and to worship okay. them yeah. shall even be as this girdle, mm. which is good for nothing. Which is what? Which, which is, is good, good for, for nothing. nothing. Y'all should be as this girdle, which is good for nothing, man. What vanities of vanities at the end of the day, man. Right? Meat, right? Your fruit is right and meat for nothing. Like we read in the book of uh, Wisdom of Solomon 4 and 4. Right? Was that it on that? Con, let me get uh, Isaiah chapter 65 and verse 2. Right? Let me get Isaiah chapter 65 and verse Isaiah 2. Isaiah 65 and verse 2. Uh -huh. No, I have spread out my hands all the day until a rebellious people right until rebellious people man stiff neck rebellious you want to do what you want to do you feel like your way is the right way right you take the words lords with a grain of salt you like ah yeah he said he killed me but i mean uh we'll we'll see we'll see how much leeway i got all right that's off man right yeah, the brothers always say, if you're not on fire, the Lord will take you out the truth. But, I mean, I ain't been on fire for like two months, and I'm still in the truth. I still know I'm an Israelite. That's off, man. You watching the, you watching the prophecies, and you like, well, well, Russia, they, they, they didn't invade Ukraine yet. Right? So, I know I still got enough more. I still got enough time. Right? I could, I could continue to entertain my demons, right, for a little bit longer. Because they haven't done yet. Right? You did, hey, you rebellious, man. Against the words of the Lord, read on. Three none. Which walked in a way that was not good mm. after their own thoughts. After their own thoughts, man. You gotta whenever you feel whenever your own thoughts go against the scriptures, man, hey, them thoughts is evil, man. Right. They wicked unto the Lord, man. Right? It's off. Read. Verse 3, a people that provoked me to anger uh -huh. continually, to, continually to my face. Uh -huh. That sacrifice. It said, so like it said to us, it said provoke me. Read that again, brother, son. So like, a people that provoked me, me to, to anger, anger continually to my face. Damn, it said continually to his face, man. That's what you do when you, so like, what you say, King? I said that's disrespectful as hell, man. Yes. I'm a, on a carnal level, when you sit there and talk back to your mother in your face, hey, you're going to get decked. <laughs> right? And that's why Jake sit there and walk away and they try to sneak in under their breath. And you still might get decked. Yeah, yeah. You know, you look. Like, what you say? <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah, you know, my parents, they didn't like the, they didn't like the, uh, the kissing of the teeth, man. That, yeah. that spirit. <laughs> right? I was younger, man. I used to get, hey, let's get the paws put on me, kind of, man. They'll say, they'll say something. You need to be doing that. Yeah, yeah huh? Psh. <laughs> right? Kiss your teeth again. As soon as you turn your head. Right? So, hey, hey, but hey, but these, but these people the Lord talking about, hey, they said they provoked him continually to his face, man. 
Like the brother said, hey, that's disrespectful as hell, man. You don't care, right? Somebody asks you, you got a minute to hear the words of the Lord. You like, oh, no, nah, it's all good. I got something better to do. You basically putting the middle finger up to the Lord, man. That's basically what you're doing. All right? Read. That sacrifice in gardens and burn of incense upon altars of brick, uh -huh. which remain among the graves and the lodge and the monuments, uh -huh. which eat swine's flesh, right. and broth and abominable things is in their vessel. Right. Which say, stand by thyself, mm. come not near to me. They say, man, I don't need nothing to do with y'all, man. I mean, I'm good. I, hey, what, I, what I'm doing is working for me. That's spirit, man. Right? What I'm doing is work, man. Y'all do y'all thing. I'm gonna do my thing over here, man. I don't care about all that, about all that, all that Bible stuff, man. Order. Right? That's that spirit they moving in. What you say, King? That's the order of Christians that sit there yeah. and say I'm saved already. Yeah, man. Right? Hey, that's what. Hey, that's what, right. Read on. For I am holier than thou. What they say? So I am I'm holier, holier than, than thou. thou. See how they say, man, I, uh, whatever y'all got going on, I don't want to be a part of that. Hey, what I'm doing is right, man. I'm holier than thou. Man. Holier than you, right? My way is better than yours, right? Hey, the Lord not dealing with that, man. The Lord said, hey, y'all smoking his nose, man. Right, read on. These are a smoke in my nose. Uh, what? These, These are a smoke, smoke in my, in my nose. nose. Now, I don't know if brothers ever had smoke in their nose before. But that's a that's not a pleasant that's not a pleasant feeling. Right? Yeah. We're talking about incense. Yeah, I, I heard that going on. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. The camera heard you too. <laughs> but but yeah, man. So that that's not a pleasant that's the hey, you that you like, damn, what the hell? You kinda like you, your eyes burn, you like you get away from it immediately. You like, damn. Right? And that's what the Lord, hey, that's how the Lord do the uh the ones that stiff neck and rebellious, man. Hypocrites, man. People that don't want to level up. People that want to stay stagnant. People that slothful, man. Hey, you're smoking the Lord's nose, man. Man, the Lord don't want nothing to do with you. You irritate, man. You ever had the parents tell you irritating, right? You keep, you keep, you keep, you keep throwing up these prayers to the Lord, and they are already an abomination, right? You irritating the Lord, man. He like, hey, why do I keep asking for stuff, man? They couldn't even. They couldn't even read two chapters today. Why? Why he keep asking me to? And then he asking me to, to, to get him money so he can get a, a better car, right? And he already got a car that worked perfectly fine. He want the. He want the. Uh, uh, not the Dodge Dart, right? He want the Hellcat. <laughs> keep asking me to get him. Get him the Hellcat. Give him the funds to get a Hellcat. <laughs> right? That's madness, man. You are not dealing with that. You're smoking the Lord's nose, right? In these last days. All right. Give me. Um, I want the book. We gotta close up. All right. I want the book of. Uh, actually, real quick, somebody give me the book of uh, Acts chapter twelve, and I believe I want verse five. Acts twelve and five, uh -huh. and it reads: Peter therefore was kept in prison, right? But prayer was made uh -huh. without ceasing of the church unto your house. Right. It said, but prayer was made without ceasing unto the church. Right? I mean, uh, by the church. Right? If you see a brother getting slow, you see a brother kind of whacking off, right? And you don't want him to do what? To become that prisoner of darkness, man. Right? He kind of, right Right now, he's not a prisoner of darkness yet, man. The Most High didn't submerse him in darkness and, and then threw away the key, man. Right? He's not to that point yet, but he, he kind of falling off, man. You kind of see him going down that road a little bit. He might he might have been slow for a couple of days. He's like, dang, come on, I, we got we to gotta get to it, man. We got to turn up in the spirit, man. See all the prophecy, you supposed to be getting excited, man. Hey, hey, Russia just came out and said that um they could uh they could attack Ukraine before the Olympics uh before the Olympics is over. Right. So they said before the Olympics is over, they're going they're gonna invade Ukraine with aerial missiles first. That, that, hey, so, so the Lord is starting. Hey, we supposed to get excited over these things, man. And get excited uh, excited about these different things, man. Like I tell you in um I believe that's a uh, Cyrac 27, if, uh, I believe seven on down, if I'm not, or it, uh, 25, right? It's seven, right? Where it says, uh, matter of fact, let's get it real quick. I want to hold that. Cyrac, chapter 25 and verse seven. It's the book of Cyrac, chapter 25 and verse seven. Uh -huh. And it reads, there be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. Uh -huh. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue. Man, I love this. A man that has 
that have joy of his children. Right. And he that liveth to see the fall of his Damn. enemy. The Lord said that's a beautiful thing, man. To see your enemies fall, man. Right. Right? Hey, our forefathers would do anything to be able to see the times that the times that they prophesied about all throughout the years, man, cup finally coming to pass. Man. That's right. They'd do anything to see those different things, man. Yeah. Right? And then you got brothers that's taking advantage of that. Right? You got brothers praying that the Lord hold off for about five more years. Right? Just, just, just wait five more years. Give me, give me, give me 20 years, uh, uh, Father. Give me 20 more years. They praying for 20 more years because they want to see their son go to college. Right? They play football on the Sabbath. Right? They want to see, they want to see what they son, if they son going to look like him or not when he turn 18. Right? That's, that's madness. Right? But the Lord said that's a beautiful thing to be able to see Russia and Ukraine going at it. Right. Then the United States get involved, man. Then Britain get involved, man. Right then, friend, all these, all these, all these people get involved, man. Right now you got World War III, now you got Jacob's trouble, man. Look, it's, it's a beautiful thing to see those different things come to pass. Right? Let's go back to this. Hey, Khan, so i real quick. Hey, you had Britain and Russia kind of going back at it yeah. with each other, too. Khan. Britain sat there and kind of said something. Russia was like, shut the hell up, man. <laughs> the hell you, well, why are you talking, Boris? <laughs> right? But, hey, man, when I see those damn Twitter notifications, I sit there and kind of get excited, man. I crack a smile. Right. Uh. Right, so this is the book of Acts, chapter 12, and verse number 5. Right. Oh, Peter, therefore, was kept in prison, right. but prayer was made without ceasing of the church. Right, you got some brothers that, hey, they... They become slaves into these demons, man. They become slaves into the weed demon, into the lust demon, right? The slothful demon. They become slaves to these different things, man. Right? They, they, they got them on chains. Now you're going, now you in slavery all over again, right? Spiritually, right? They walk in you, right? You like this in the thing, or you like this, right? You got chains on you, right? The demons say, go get some weed. You say, con, master, and then you go and get the weed, man. That's all. That, that, that's how I did. Hey, that's hey, hey, you, you, hey, you, you a slave to that demon, man. Right. You gotta have, you gotta be able to be able to have discipline in this thing, man. You gotta be able to have uh, discipline over your spirit. That's right. Yeah, right. Temperance, kind of the water. Right. You gotta be able to have those different things and practice those different things, man. As soon as, as soon as the damn lust demon come over you, or as soon as the damn weed demon come over you, or pride demon come over you, or whatever the case it may be, man, you automatically fall victim to it. Guess what? You a slave to that demon, man. You didn't even try to bring out no scriptures, right? You didn't say, hey, you didn't try to rebuke Satan at all, right? Yeah, you ain't even pray. You ain't pray, right? The, that wicked thought came in mind. You like, damn, man. right? You feel that lust ball growing up inside of you. Instead of praying, you take heed to it, man. So then you go to Sharonda house, right? Five o'clock in the morning, right? Three o'clock in the morning, right? You go, you go, you don't have a car, right? You don't have a car. It's negative, the wind chill negative two degrees, but you go and walk down to damn, you go and walk down to damn, uh, uh, what Jake names would it be? You go walk to Michi house. Right, you walk to Michi House, you walk to Rail House, you don't got a car, but guess what, you, hey, that demon told you to go get some weed, man. And guess what, you said yes, master, and went and go do it, man. See that? Right? Hey, you gotta, hey, you gotta fight these different things, man. I'm pretty sure if every brother, every brother, right, if, if, if them, uh, 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 Esau came and tried to put them in damn slavery, and they're not going for it, man. Right, right. You gonna do uh. every, you gonna do everything that you can to fight against that demon, man. Or to, or so like to fight against Esau, man, that he don't put you in slavery, man. Yeah. Right? But now, guess what, hey, when it comes to that, when it comes to that spiritual demon, man, hey, you, you are, you got, you, brother, brothers out here got damn Stockholm Syndrome, man. <laughs> they love the demons. They like, yes, you back again. Yes. Right? I'm happy, man. I, I got tired of reading, man. Right? Let's get let's get it on. Let's get to it. Right? right let's get down to the nitty-gritty. God. Right? That's off, man. The Lord not dealing with that. Right? So when you see hey, certain brothers, hey, they be hey, they be in they be in spiritual uh, uh prison, man, to these demons. Hey, brothers, you gotta make sure that you praying for uh praying for brothers too, man. Right, sisters, you gotta make sure that you praying for sisters, man. Right in this thing. That they that, that they can get out of that uh that they can get out of that prison of these demons, man. So they don't fall away in this thing. Right, read on. But prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto Yahweh for him. For a hey, prayer was made without ceasing, man, by the church. Right? That's how that's how we gotta be in these last days, man. 
right? See a brother falling out, and you got to pray without ceasing for that brother, man. That he don't go astray, man. Nah. Right? That the Lord instill that fire back in him, man. So he can be on fire for the Lord, man. Hey, that's, that's, a, hey, that's a beautiful thing, man. That's how the church got to be, man. Nowadays. Right? That's how the congregation, that's how the brothers, the brotherhood got to be. The sisterhood got to be, man. Right? You see somebody fall away, hey, you got to make prayer without ceasing for that brother. Right? Read on. And when Herod would have brought him forth, uh -huh. the same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, mm -hmm. bound with two chains. Right, and then demons was next to him, man. Right, he had both of the demons. They they sandwiched you. Like yeah, you got like like the shows, like the little cartoons used to be when you got the you got the devil on this shoulder, then you got so called white Jesus on this shoulder. Right, and this uh, you got you got the devil on this shoulder and the devil on this shoulder, both of them. Right. right, telling you different things in your ear. Hey, do this, do this. Right, hey, go cop some weed, then go to Sharonda house and say you trying to match. Right? That's off, man. Right, Marino? And the keepers before the door kept the prison. Right? And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him. The what? The angel, angel of the Lord, Lord came, came upon, upon him. him. Why? Because, hey, the church made praying without, hey, they was praying without ceasing for the, uh, for Peter, man. They knew he was locked up, man. They knew he was going through, so they made prayer without ceasing for that brother, man. Right? And guess what? The, hey, hey, the most high God, guess what? He sent the angel onto him, man. To do what? Right, read on. And a light shined in the prison. Uh-huh. And he spoke Peter on the side. Right. And raised him up, said, Arise up quickly. Mm. And his chains fell off from his head. You see that? Hey, the Lord has sent the Lord has sent an angel to strengthen that brother, man. To strengthen that sister, man. Why? Because the church made prayer without ceasing for that brother or that sister, man. Right? Because they seen them going down. They seen them getting slothful. They seen them dealing with certain things. And they like, man, we got to pray for that, man. man. Make sure you keep that brother in your prayers. Make sure you keep that sister in your prayers, man. Right? So prayer was made without ceasing. And guess what? The Lord sent the angel unto him, man. Same thing happened to you. How was shot, man? Yeah, how was that? Come on, bring it up. I got to get it. Oh, come on, But the, the same thing was happening to, um, oh, yeah, how was shot, man? Right, your house house going through it. He was in agony. He was in pain. He was sweating blood, man. Right. Right? And what the Lord do? And he sent the angel unto him to strengthen him, man. Right? You got it. Uh, uh, also, it, even, it happened twice. When he was praying unto the Lord. And also when uh, Satan was tempting him, man. Wow. Satan was tempting him. And guess what? Hey, he, hey, he made prayer. And he, he resisted the devil. Right? And he fleed. And the Most High, hey, he sent angels unto him that was ministering, uh, ministering unto him, man. Right? This, up. this is the book of Matthew, chapter 26 and verse 39. Uh -huh. And he went a little further and fell on his face right. and prayed. And then what? Say, oh my father, mm -hmm. if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Right. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou will. Right. And he cometh unto the disciples and findeth them asleep and saith unto Peter, What could ye not watch me one hour? Carry on. Watch and pray that ye what? enter not into temptation. Right. The spirit indeed is willing, huh? but the flesh, flesh is weak. weak. But the what? But the, the flesh, flesh is weak. weak. The spirit weak indeed is uh, willing, but the flesh is weak. Right, Rio? He went away again the second time and prayed, saying, Oh my father, if this cup may not pass away from me, mm -hmm. except I drink it, thy will be done. Right. And he came and found them I mean, again sleep. It's like a found them sleep again, for their eyes were heavy. All right, you can drop down a couple of uh, verses. Uh, I think if you drop down like I think it's in Luke, actually. two, it's, a, it's an account in Luke 2. Uh, I believe that's like Luke, what is that, Luke 20? I got it. I think it's Luke, it's not. All right, just to uh, go to Luke. Luke 20 and... Go to Luke, uh, go to Luke 22 and verse uh, 40. Uh, it's the book. Luke 22 and verse number 40. Bring it up. And I can jump to 42 actually. 42, 42. say, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from uh -huh. me. Uh -huh. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. Right. And there appeared an angel unto him from heaven. Strengthening him. Uh huh. And said, doing what? Strengthening, strengthening him. him. Hey, it was strengthening the Yahweh Shah, man. All right. Right? Read. And being in agony, he prayed more earnestly. Hey, he didn't, hey, when he, when, when Yahweh Shah was going through trials and tribulations, he didn't just say, man, 
Why is this happening to me? What did I do, Lord, to deserve this? What do you mean, what did you do to deserve it, man? We're supposed to be dead. Brothers gotta realize that, man. We all supposed to be, I'm gonna just say it like this, we all supposed to be dead as shit. Right. Nobody, we, we all done done things that's worthy of death. Right. Literally. But the Lord, guess what, the Lord spared us, man. Right, so whatever you, whatever's going on in your life, don't, you should never look at it like, what did I do, man? What did I do to deserve this? Right? I've been doing all that. Hey, the Lord said every man at his best estate is altogether vanity, man. So it should never be a, a what did I do or this and that. Hey, hey, we all we ain't even supposed to be here right now. What didn't I do? Right. Right. Like the brother said, hey, what didn't I do, man? Brother, you didn't you didn't fast when you were supposed to, brother. You ain't you ain't fasted in four months. You ain't you ain't prayed in three days. Damn. You ain't opened your Bible since last Sabbath. What do you mean, brother? Right, read on. And, and, and his sweat was as it were great drops of blood falling down to the ground. Right, that's all I want in on that, right? So, hey, yeah, how was I? Guess what? He went harder. Yeah, how was I? Went harder, man, when those trials and tribulations came upon him. He didn't say, uh, he didn't wax weaker and weaker, man. And he started going harder, man, in this day, right? With Peter, right? With Peter, hey, Peter was in uh, Peter was in prison, man. And guess what? Hey, the church prayed for him. And, hey, he got released from uh, those bonds, man. The angel, I mean, the Lord sent the angel down unto him, man. Right? Spiritually, that's how brothers and sisters be out here. A lot of brothers and sisters be in prison, man. A lot of brothers and sisters out here, they be in prison, spiritual prison to these demons, man. Right? They got one demon right here, the other demon on that side, man. Right? Everywhere you go, they right there. Right, making sure, making sure, every, and everything you do, right, you going off, right, and you gotta pray for them in these last days, right? Give me uh, Hebrews uh, three and thirteen. Hebrews, right, leave off on this. Hebrews three and thirteen. Uh -huh. uh -huh. But exhort one another what daily. The, what the Lord say? But, but exhort, exhort one, one another, another daily. daily. You gotta exhort one another daily, man. You gotta make sure your brothers on their p's and q's in these last days, man. Especially like we brought out in Second Edges uh, five and two. Right, Second Edges chapter fourteen, and, um, uh, what was that? Seventeen on down. How it, how uh, uh, iniquity and evils are increasing upon the earth, man. Hey, you gotta be on your brothers that much more, man. Making sure they're good, exhorting them daily to continue to push through, cause it's hard, man. It is hard. Nobody never said it was easy, man. Right. This ain't a cakewalk, man. Brothers just don't be going through this. It ain't like riding a bike, like yeah, man. I'm gonna fight. Now, it ain't gonna work like that, man. Right. Brothers be going through it, man. Brothers be crying, man. Brothers, brothers, all type of stuff, man. Why? Because you want to be on fire for the world. You want to go hard for the Lord, man. But you got all these damn spirits and demons, man, just trying to tempt you every step of the way. But guess what? You got to glory in temptations, man. You got to glory, hey, you got to glory in those things, man. You got to say all praise to the Most High. Because what's that? What is that? That's the Most High bringing you through the fire, man. Right. He's trying you like gold, man. He's trying to see is you really with me, man. He like, man, let me, let me, let me see what he about, man. Let me see if he really with me, man. Right? In the book of Job, hey, Job was a just and perfect man. He said Job was just and an upright, perfect man, paraphrasing. But guess what? All hell happened to Job, man. All hell broke loose to, uh, in Job's life, man. Why? Because the Lord wanted to see if he was really with him or not, man. Right? It's good to serve the Lord when everything is going good, man. But how you going to react when you at your lowest estate? Right. That's how you know where your strength is in this state. That's how you know if you're really a mighty man of the Lord, man. If you, if you, if, how are you going to react? Or what do you do when you're, like they said, like they say this in the world, well, how are you going to respond when you're back against the wall? Right? How are you going to respond when you're at your lowest point? Right? You laid on all your bills. Right. Right. You laid on all your bills. Right? Everything seemed like, everything, like, uh, if it's not one thing, it's another, man. How are you going to react? Are you gonna go harder in this thing like your Hawashai did, man? Right? It say he start praying more earnestly, man. He start going harder, man. Alrighty. Right? And and uh, uh like we uh, brought out in Baru, right? Hey, you gotta seek him ten times more. All right? Give me uh, give me Second Chronicles. I mean, uh, I said Second Chronicles. Give me Second Corinthians, chapter twelve. Right? And I believe I'm on verse forty. Let me see something real quick. All right, give me Second Corinthians. I want uh, twelve, and oh, come on, you got to Yeah, go to uh, chapter twelve. It's the book is twelve, twelve and verse. Go to verse uh, eight. It's the book of Second Corinthians. Seven. 
Chapter 12 and verse 7. And lest I should be exalted above measure uh -huh. through the abundance of the revelation. Through the revelations, there was given to me a thorn in the flesh. All right, the Lord gave, hey, the Lord gave uh, Paul thorn, right, read on. The messenger of Satan uh -huh. to buffet me. Buffet. Right, read on. Lest I should be exalted above measure. Uh-huh. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice. Hey, hey, Paul sought the Lord three times, man. Right, he had demon, had, hey, had spirit on him, man. God. He sought the Lord twice for this thing. I mean, three times for this thing, man. He's dealing with things, man. Hey, he prayed unto the most high for these things. But, where, but what happened? Read on. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice, that it might depart from me. Uh -huh. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee. Basically, hey, he told him, like, oh, I've done enough for you. I mean, me, uh, aka, like, me bring you into the truth was enough. Really? Right? I've done enough for you. My grace is sufficient enough for thee. Yeah, yeah, hey, 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 aka, you got to deal with it. Right. A lot of brothers don't realize, hey, sometimes you got to deal with it, man. I have to. You can't, yeah. man, this ain't no, con. this ain't no, this, this is not for the weak, man. The warning, PSA, this is not for the weak, man. If you, if you, if you was folded in the world on, on certain things, hey, you might not, this might not be for you. Because you're going, yeah, you coming to this truth, yeah, you're going, you're going to fold in this, man. Because this is the hardest thing ever, man. Right? This ain't, ain't nothing sweet about this, man. Except the end result. Right. Right? And that's what we that's what we want at the end of the day. Right? right? But he said, hey, you got to deal with it, basically. Right? Read on. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. What'd he say? For my, my strength, strength is, is made, made perfect, perfect in weakness. weakness. He said, my strength is made perfect in weakness, man. Man, like I just said, man. Hey, you figure out what you really made of when you hit rock bottom, man. That's when you, are you really standing for the Lord, man? How you react, man? With all hell breaking loose, are you going to go harder, man? Right? Are you going to level up in this thing? Are you going to seek him ten times more? Or are you going to have sit and have a damn pity party, man? And try to blame everybody else. You looking for excuses and loopholes out of everything, man. And you try, now you now you blaming the Lord, man. Instead of taking accountability for your actions and examining yourself like you should be doing daily, man. Right. That's what they sit there and say is the first step to solving anything or fixing any problem is taking Cut. accountability first Cut. for action. That's right, man. That's right. Read on. Come on. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities. Hey, hey Paul said I'd rather glory in my infirmities, man. Read on. That the power of Amashiach may rest upon me. Straight like that, man. Hey, so Paul, hey, Paul didn't have a sit and have a damn pity party, man. Hey, Paul, hey, he gloried in his infirmities, man. Right? And he, hey, he made, hey, and in his weakness, hey, he made it his strength, man. Right? He leveled up. He went harder, man. Right? Now, we're going to read this again, and we're going to uh, leave off on this. Hebrews 3 and verse 13. Read out. But exhort one another daily. daily right? Why it is called today. Why it is what? Why, Why it is, is called, called today. Do it now, man. Why it is called today. Don't wait, man. Don't wait till next year, man. Don't wait till damn all hell start. Don't wait till Jacob's trouble happened to start to do these things, man. Right? Give me uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Right? Read on. Lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. Right? At least any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness, man. Right? That sin has to offer in these last days. Right? You know? Or Salakia. That's it on that. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse number 1. Bring it up. 12. 12, 12, 12 and 1. Uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Come. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse number 1. Uh -huh. Bring it out. Remember now that created. What the Lord say? Remember, Remember now, now that created. created. What the Lord say? Remember, Remember now that I created. created. In the days of thy youth. Uh huh. While the evil days come not. Right? Nor the years draw not. Uh huh. When thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in that. Mm. While the sun, or the light, or the moon, or the stars be not darkened. Right. Nor the clouds return after the rain. Right, that's it on that. Right, so the point is, hey, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Huh? Huh. Right, go hard, hey, while you got the chance to. Right. Brothers, don't start going hard when damn Jacob's trouble come, man. Right. 
you waiting, you waiting for uh for them uh World War Three to start before you really start going hard and being on right, fire right. at this thing, man. Hey, do it now, man. Right? Do it in the days of our youth, man. You gotta remember your creator now, man. Right? And in the book of Hebrews, it said, do it today. While it is today, man. Right? So with that, we're gonna give a mighty call yourself. Call yourself. Call yourself. Call yourself. Call yourself.